Yes, sir. Hey, made it to my delivery. Out here in South Kakalaki somewhere. I don't remember exactly where, but all was good. Yeah. I'm going to tell you all about it in a second. That's if I could get it in gear to back this damn trailer up. Inopportune timing? I would say so. Alright, so KB, what's the issue? Hey, look. They got all kind of faults, bro. Alright, let me see. Damn, 102 degrees outside? God damn. Let's see what's going on. Alright. Seven faults now. Damn. I know what that is, fog light. You know, I ain't nothing. HVAC. My shit been tripping. I ain't worried about that. This happened, like, I don't know. I got some tires put on. I don't know if you touch the sensor or not. I don't know what's up with that. Check, get that checked. And that caused the ABS light to go on. So, you know, those two associated with each other. Radar. Don't worry about that. I got that taken off. Uh, in shaft speed. All right. My research on that, that has something to do with the XY shifter. One of the sensors on there. I forgot. I think it's called the real selection sen um, sensor. So, I'm going to just get the whole... XY shifter to swap that out, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all see the mileage, you feel me? Get that situated. So I ain't got to worry about that since they got to go into the floor to get it done. Because if y'all don't know, well, I'll show y'all that. Um, well, and that's it. So we got seven faults. And getting into the gear ain't as easy as an automatic supposed to be. Now watch how your boy going to try to get out of here. And I'm putting it in drive. You know what I'm saying? There go drive. Bang. Nothing. There go the fault. You know, just supposed to say first gear, second gear. That's what we doing. So, oh, I got lucky this time. It's taking off easily. Before, yeah, your boy was stuck. It wasn't going in. It wasn't moving. So I got three hours to get to my, um, get to the freight liner. And then to the to the shop to go get it situated because you know. We got to make it happen. But it's crazy that it happened right before I was about to make my transition. Like I said, I don't know who it is that you you pray to or most higher power or whatever the case may be. But you got to have something, dog. For real. Because it could have happened after I made my transition and messed up the money. But it gave me time. And it's Memorial Day weekend. So, perfect timing to say the less. Or worst time to say the least. I don't know. You be the judge. But well, I'm going to hop on this 26 to the 77. And then um, I'm going to make it up over there. little three-hour drive. Hopefully it turns out right. As soon as this mixer truck get up out of my way, I'm out of here. But well, I'm going to see y'all on the other side. Your boy made it, man. It was crazy. But I made it. I'm talking about five miles. Maybe six miles. I'm on the highway, trying to downshift, automatic downshift, and would not get out of temp gear. I'm like, oh man! So I had to pull over to the side. Think fast, KB. Think fast. What you gonna do? So all I did was, I killed the um, I turned on the kill switch, killed it, waited like five seconds and turned it back on, and then straight up rebooted. Thankful for that. Now, let's see if I can get this part. Oh, yes. We ain't got no line today. Oh, man. I'm thinking I'm going to be standing in line for about 35 minutes. Oh, yeah. We quiet today, boy. All right. So, this is a part right here. Part number five. Interested in changing the joint. Get the core, you know what I mean? Get back a little three, three hundred dollars. This is it right here. This is the XY shifter. Got the sensors on it. Truthfully, I just think like my sensors is going bad because this the truck shifts fine, but something ain't right. You know what I'm saying? So I just think the sensors is going bad, but if I'm gonna change the sensor, I'm gonna just go ahead and change everything. Just you got cranberry gotta be right. And we back again. Superior trucks. Back up in here to get him some more of my money. You know what I'm talking about? 
Back up in here. Somebody riding clean. Nah, not really. It sound good though. 392. Back up in here to get him some of my money. Yo, they stay busy, man. I'm telling you, they stay busy, but I believe in them. That's a fire truck. I believe in them. So I'm gonna let my man Dwight. Spoke to my man Dwight. That's the one that run the shop. He had his head down talking to somebody. I walked up in there. He looked up. He was like, hey man, if you're always gonna be in here, you can't make no money. I'm like, yo, you probably, I probably just stand out a little too much, bro. I ain't been here in a little while, you know what I'm saying? Well, nothing for nothing major. But um, yeah, man, just gonna let him do what he do. There's a lot of trucks in here. But sometimes they tell you they're gonna take a little while to get to it but they get to it sooner than expected so that's the case but I ain't in no rush you dig I need to get my mind right I need to really figure out what move I want to make and how to make it so I'm gonna take this time to, to, to I don't know man think about it yeah think about it thoroughly you know what I'm saying because I don't want to make a wrong move and then have to make a, a counter move so we're going to see. One thing I do know, Memorial Day weekend, like I said, good timing or the worst possible timing. I don't know. I'm going to head to the bachelor pad. Got my lift about to come pick me up. And I'm going to try to enjoy my time off, man. Even though I know that money's coming out my pocket, I just feel good knowing that I got it for it to come out my pocket. So I'm going to holler at y'all when I'm in the bachelor pad. Yo, this shit is not... For the week, all right. It's not for the week, bro. I'm trying to tell you, it's not. It's not only is it not for the week. It's not for those that can't manage their bread, dog. You can't. If you can't manage your bread, this ain't for you. So don't even try to get into it. Cause I get emails all the time, like, yo, how much money you think I need? How much money should I have aside? How much money you got? You don't need it because everything could be going right two, three, four months, a whole year with no problems. But you out there spending that bread, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you having a good time. But when you need that money, you don't have it. I'm just thinking like, yo, I'm glad that a lot of shit don't excite me to where I have to go spend my money. You know what I'm saying? Because that'd be a major setback. What you gonna do? Take out a loan? What you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got the money, what you gonna do? You gonna fold up? That's what you want to do? You can't do that, bro. Can't do that. So, you know what it is. Cranberry in the shop. It's going to get right. Don't know how long it's going to take. You know, it is what it is. When they get right, they get right. I'm just happy to be home. Wait, we in the bachelor pad. Oh, hold up. Yeah, we got a champagne glass. Got the fresh shave. Oh, yeah, we have to let it go. Hey, look. When your hairline doing the MJ fadeaway, don't be ashamed, my man. It's all right. You dig? <laughs> Um, I'm about to get outside. I need to go outside and get some good food. You know what I'm saying? That's the main thing I need when I get in the crib. I need to go eat good. I ain't in the mood to cook right now because I've been driving all day to get home. So I'm going to go to my favorite restaurant and we going to go eat. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to hear Cold Start, right? I know. I know. I'm going to get you at Cold Start. It's been two and a half weeks or maybe two weeks. I don't know. Two weeks, no start. So it should be sounding real nice. I'm gonna hop on this elevator. Let me finish my drink though. Oh yeah, I spent some money on myself. I just had to. All the taxes I spent, I don't want to feel like I'm working for the man, you know what I'm saying? So I drop I dropped a little something. Just because. As you should too. As you should too. Oh, there she go. Oh, there she go. It's been a minute. Reunited, and it feels so good. <laughs> Hold up. And she been sitting here in the same spot, looking dusty. We gonna get it right though. Oh yeah, we gonna get it right. Hold up. Hold on. Yeah, let's get this cold start though. Two weeks cold start. Yo, hope you got your volume up. You know what I'm saying? Turn the volume all the way up. Hey, 
just saw T with the light up. Oh yeah, stand wheel light up. If it ain't lit up, I don't know what you're doing. Hold up. Dang. Hey, look, that's the thing about it, man. You know, people could tell you, people could tell you, oh, what you're doing is not a good look. Hold up, let me get right. Hold up. Cause you got you got people that wanna hop in your comments and tell you what's not a good look and what's a good look. But the thing about it is, these are old heads that ain't giving no game. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm an old head now. Yeah, my birthday passed the other day. I'm officially an old head. You know what I'm saying? I know I don't look it or sound it, but I'm an old head. And I'll never move like an old head. You know what I'm saying? I'm always gonna be I'm always gonna be down for the culture. People be quick to wanna tell you, you know what I'm saying? They wanna tell you, oh, what's what's not a good look, but they ain't giving no game. So that's one thing for my loyal subscribers, they come through, they know what's up. You know what I'm saying? You know what game you're gonna get. You know what I'm saying? KB gonna give it to you exactly how it is. You see what's going on. Transmission down the toilet. You know what I'm saying? Shit down the toilet. And I ain't tripping. We gonna get right. You know what I'm saying? I know we gonna get right. But at the same time, I'm not gonna stop living or doing the shit that I wanna do. That's most important. You gotta keep that in mind, bro. Yeah, you gotta work. But I come from a life where... You could go any day, and that's how I live sometimes. I know some people that care about me don't like to hear that. Why you Why you got to talk like that? It, it just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Any day. Everybody don't like you. Everybody don't love you. I don't want everybody to like me or love me. But the fact of the matter is, I'm never going to stop living the way I should be living, or the way I feel I should be living, or doing the things that I want to be doing. Damn, she got the donkey donk on. This was even planned. My bad to my female subscribers. But it is what it is. Every so often, I'll get a text message saying, yo, if it wasn't for your video, it wouldn't. I wouldn't even realize that trucking is for people that look like us. You know what I'm saying? So, it's all about changing your mindset, man. And the quicker you change your mindset, the quicker you change your environment. That is a fact. There's no way around that. And... Stay positive, man. A lot of negative, a lot of negative energy out here trying to bring you down, man. They try to bring you down, but I can't allow it and I won't allow it. You dig what I'm saying? It can't, it can't happen with me because I'm on a different frequency that most people can't even reach. And not even to sound like that, but the way my mind set up, I don't care what nobody tell me. Oh, that's not that. Now nah, you should be doing this. You should be doing that. I know what I should be doing. I wouldn't be at where I'm at if I ain't know what I was doing. I wouldn't be at where, I, where I'm at now if I didn't know what I was doing. There's no way around that. But, yo, I'm going to go pick up my food, dog, and go to the crib because the Knicks is playing. Yeah. They're two minutes away from starting. I don't care about the you know the tip of the ball or whatever. Thing. But two minutes away from starting, I'm going to go watch my Knicks. You know what it is. And if you're not subscribed, then make sure you subscribe to the channel, Red Eye KB. We just changing the culture. Yeah, we changing the mindset, too. I'm going to let y'all know what's up. Oh. If you made it to the end of this video, I'm going to just give you this jewel right now. It's not even a jewel. I'm just giving you the inside of what's going down, all right? Today is Wednesday right now. I'm going to drop the video Thursday. Friday at 6 p.m., I'm going live, all right? So if you if you made it to the point of the video, you rock with your boy, all right? So come rock with me in the live Friday at 6 p.m., all right? 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I know y'all be all over the place. But 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, come rock with your boy. All right? We're going to shoot this shit. I got a whole bunch of questions for y'all. I know y'all got some for me. And y'all just want to vibe out. So we're going to conduct a, we're gonna conduct a live from the Bachelor Pad for the first time. Did I go live before? Nah, I didn't think I went live from the Bachelor Pad. But make sure y'all there. All right? 6 p.m. Friday. Holla at ya. You dig?